Well, guys, this is really funny. This is absolutely hilarious, man. I believe I've told you guys before, man. White liberals see black people as tokens. Now, the Joe Biden administration is the most woke administration in the history of this country. Kamala Harris, for example, the only reason why Kamala Harris was actually chosen as Joe Biden's number two is because she was supposedly black, even though she's not. And she was a woman. Nothing more. Nobody was hyped up for Kamala Harris. How about this? Also, when it came to Supreme Court Justice Katanji Brown Jackson, Beijing Biden said, it's going to be a black woman. That was the only qualification. And Katanji Brown Jackson doesn't even know what a woman is. But apparently, supposedly, she's a woman. Funny how it works. Then White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre hits the scene. And the only reason why she got that job is simply because she was black, immigrant and a lesbian. Now, if you guys have been paying attention to uh, Corinne Jean-Pierre, she is terrible at a job, not prepared at all, can't answer any questions. She is absolutely terrible. Everybody knows this, man. But hey, the diversity hires seem to be working out, right? Also, another one, by the way, because this video is mainly about a Korean John Pierre. Look at um the HHS assistant secretary. Who is a transgender. Who is out of shape, by the way, uh, Rachel Levine, born Richard Levine. We're supposed to take a uh, health advice in this person out of shape. The only reason why they got the job transgender. Nothing more. And this is a common thing in the Biden administration, man. Sam Brenton. Got a job in the Biden administration simply because he's non-binary, even though he's a criminal. Running around stealing uh, women's purses and luggage at airports. He got fired. Well, guys, maybe just maybe. Crenz John Pierre's days are numbered as White House press secretary, man. Joe Biden getting destroyed in the polls. And I believe that uh, I'm going to be honest here. Joe Biden has much bigger issues than uh, Corinne John Pierre. However, word is. He wants a gun. At least Biden's handlers want her, want her gone. Let's get into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you're watching on Rumble, click the join button, get access to the same thing. So look at this. Biden administration tried to push black lesbian press secretary out, afraid to fire her over optics. Think she's bad for the campaign. However, they can't fire her simply because she's black and she's a part of the alphabet mafia. Congratulations, guys. You see, black people, man, need to wake up. Democrats look at black people like tokens. Now, if you want to consider um, Kamala Harris is black. OK, for the purpose of this video, she's a token. She is terrible. I mean, why Kamala Harris, man? I mean, if black people love Kamala Harris so much, why didn't they actually vote for her in the primaries? Kamala Harris finished like dead last. Nobody supported her, including including our black people. But she was a token and nothing more. Biden, I believe, will not get reelected. It's not going to happen, I believe. I believe Trump is the man. No matter what they're actually doing to him, I believe that Trump is going to win. But Corinne's John Pierre is terrible. Look here. It says it has been revealed that members of the Biden administration secretly attempted to oust White House Press Secretary Corinne John Pierre 
by calling in favors from prominent Democrats, asking them to convince her it was time to move on. (laughs) While the goal was to essentially get John John Pierre out as quick as possible, those involved in the plan sought a graceful exit to avoid the backlash they've inevitably received if she, a black lesbian, was fired. Now, I don't believe that Corinne Jean-Pierre would have a hard time getting a job. I mean, I don't think she's very smart, but hey, there's always MSNBC or some woke company. She would be okay. Anyway, according to the New York Post, the plan was hatched last fall by White House communications lead Anita Dunn and supported by Chief of Staff uh, Jeff uh, Zentz um, amid growing frustration with her handling of the job. They noted her tendency to read directly from prepared prepare notes and claim she sometimes failed to do a research before important briefings. I'm not surprised by that. Uh, quote, that was an effort to have some outside folks who Corinne knows and trusts talk to her about why leaving last fall would have made a lot of sense for her and her career. One source who spoke directly with Dunn told the outlet noting that at least one person did speak with her. They pointed out that John Pierre had been in the job for a year and a half at that point, which is pretty standard tenure for a press secretary in what is admittedly a very demanding job. Now, she actually just moved away. I don't believe anybody would have said anything. I mean, Trump had a couple of uh, press secretaries, actually three, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Of course, Peppermint Patty was there. Under Biden at first, she's moved on. So if Corinne Jean-Pierre actually moved on, I don't think anybody would actually said anything. But now that this story has come out now, oh boy, they got a problem now, man. (laughs) They got a problem. They can't fire her now. She is stuck with the job. However, the good news is Joe Biden's not going to be there next year. I truly do believe that. Um, It goes on here. It says... um, There's a huge diversity issue and they're afraid of what folks are going to say. Uh, Other words, the left, (laughs) the source added referring to ramifications of simply firing John Pierre. In December, the press secretary was approached by pro-abortion group Emily's List asking if she would like to be president. But she refused, making it clear she was going to stay in the White House until the 2024 election. The White House is pushed back against the allegations that any such plan was ever conceived. Of course, they're not going to admit to it, but this is what they said, quote, not only are these claims widely false, but the reality is the polar opposite. Deputy uh, Press Secretary Andrew Bates claimed in a statement to the Post. Corinne was never approached by anyone with such a message. She spends four hours preparing every day and neither Jeff nor Anita Did any such thing. Both have been unflinchingly supported of her. Yeah, I don't believe this. I I really do believe they tried to oust her. You know, to be honest with you, I think that um, the Democrats would really actually like to dump Kamala Harris. I truly do believe that because as bad as Joe Biden is, and he is all time bad. Kamala Harris's approval is even worse. Even worse, she was never qualified for this job. Neither is Joe Biden, by the way. I mean, the border, she's made the borders are. She's done nothing about it. I think they really want to dump her. But Kamala Harris, she's not going anywhere. She's not. And of course, uh, Corinne Jean-Pierre is not going anywhere at this time. It's too late for a a graceful uh, move, in my opinion. (laughs) This is funny, guys, but that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.